I've got two accounts for you on this system, so I'll go through them with you now. For the first account, is for We Are Master Next on behalf of Mersey Flow for a penalty charge for a motor vehicle used or kept on the Mersey Gateway Bridge or Silver Jubilee Bridge without payment of the required toll in the time and manner specified. That was going southbound on the 28th of September 2018. Pays. That has a balance of £380. Being paid. Second, <coughs> The second account is Marston from Warrington Council for a penalty charge for Yellow Lines 1 or 2 on Sankey Street, uh, uh, the 1st, 2018, and that has a balance of £423. So the two accounts amount to £803. Are you clearing these with a Visa debit or a credit card today? <laughs> well, I'll say that again. Say that again, you made me laugh then. Are you clearing it with a Visa debit or a <laughs> Are you serious, love? Do you think I'm ringing up to pay this bill? Listen, here's what I'm going to ask you now. You state here on your letter you've sent me that you have permission from the court to remove my goods. What permission have you got? We have a warrant that's been issued by the court. So where's the warrant? Why is why isn't the one being here with the warrant? We have had people attend you. Can you tell me when you tell me what date you got the warrant so I can contact the court? We were past the account on the 19th of March. No, when was you past the warrants, not the accounts? When was you past the warrant to come and remove my goods? Yeah, that was the date I just gave you for the first... Yeah, so can you, get, can you give me the court number, please, and the case number, what it was? I can give you the client references. No, I want the number that's on the warrants and who issued the warrants. Yeah, see, it'll be XM1244-7423 on the first one. Sorry, what is it? XM? One, two, four, four. One, two, four, four, yeah. Seven, four, two, three. Seven, four, two, three. And that's a warrant to remove my goods, is it? That's the client reference. Is that a warrant to remove my goods? You've just stated the you have a reference. warrant to remove my goods. The court has issued it. Did you or did you not say that? It's the client reference. I've just advised you that throughout the court. No, I'm just advising you what you said to me. You said you have a warrant. To, you already have a warrant to remove my goods in your possession, which you don't. You clearly don't, do you? We do. You've been taken to court. A warrant has been granted in your name and we have been instructed. Yeah, so where is that? You, you said you have the warrant in your possession. No, I never said that at all. I think you did, love. I record everything. I'm sitting Why in my you? office. I record everything. So give us the other number, please, for the other one. That's the first one. What's the other one? Yeah. WI020. WI020, yeah. 567. 567. 97. 97. Okay. So on this letter where it states we have permission from the court to remove your goods. So you don't have permission, do you? We do. No, you don't. We act upon the client's instructions. And the, cli the clients, which is the court, haven't instructed you to come and remove my good yet. So that is another lie and a threat of Marston's putting it in. You must pay the total amount you owe. So where's what I'm... What, sorry, who, who, who am I speaking to, please? My name's JJ, Sean. JJ, go and send... This is not a threat to anyone. This is a promise. Send anyone you like to my premises. You are not getting paid. I do not pay Marston's and I do not pay Jacob's. If anyone comes into my premises, they will be slapped, booted up the arse and have a bucket of water run over them. Marston's are a bullying outfit and this is another threat what Marston's are doing. So send, give it to your clients, your little operatives that you send out and send as many as you like because I won't be paying. I'm sorry I've got to say that to you. I'd normally save that to say, to say to the people that come here. But... It clearly states here that you have permission and you don't. You just lie and you scare people all the time. Well, this person, it doesn't work with. So I ain't paying you nothing. Was that loud and clear for you? Thought you put the phone down. That's how you deal with Marston's. When you know you're blagging them for threatening you, they put the phone down, you people.